Guys, my name is Prem, and today we are going to discuss uh, convert Roman number to integer number. As you can see, Roman number ten x is represent number ro Roman number ten, and x i is represent Roman number eleven. So first, what we would do, whatever the common Roman number which de which derived for another common number, that for that we will declare as a dictionary Roman. So here is a first five ten. Again, again, fifty, hundred, five hundred, and one thousand, and the result is initially zero. And what we will do, we will access each element uh, string from zero, and the next element. If this element is the less than of the uh, next element, then we will subtract from result. So here, you, if you see an example of nine, so one is a le this i. So i number we will check in dictionary. I value is one. And ten, we will check in the dictionary. Is the ten value is ten? So one is less than ten. So we will subtract this result. So let's go this example here. We will start from i in range of. We will start from zero, as I said, and length of s minus one because we are ex going for the next element. So it should go. It should not go out of range. So we are accessing this one. Then I will check the c. Is the current value? See the current value current for string is as i i mean zero whatever the index will be and see after when the next uh, element value in the string so it would be i plus one and I'm checking if uh, Roman number uh, value of the c is in dictionary we will check the value for the c and for c after. And let's if it is less than uh, we will add we will subtract from result result equal to result min minus value of the value of the element current element else uh, we would add this current element and for each element we'll do and so you as you know for all we are we are accessing this string given a string from zero to length minus one. So what we will do? One element is the one last element we need to do here. Result equal to result plus. So what is the string? Last element we need to convert. So last string would be s minus one if we want to access this is the result and this way we need to return here there would be the result so let's call this string and let's see the result so the, uh, i'm calling this string it should like 10 10 if you want to call 20 it should return 20 and it's it should be it should be 19 so this is the this is the problem so here if you uh, again recap this problem so here we created python class in the python class we declared our one method in method we are passing the string and uh, e for each element in in the string we are taking the current value and the next value and we are comparing if the less than we are subtracting if it is greater than if other case we are if it is equal to also we are adding and the last string we are not adding here so i am adding here and final result is here so if you can see so thanks guys